Now we finna get started, Jack. Y'all know the time. This wave is in. Back again with the power out. We in a bag, you buy groceries. One week, two shows in it. One bad, two in it. I ain't got a lot to you. I phone new flows in it. Don't be trying to put your nose in it. I ain't got a lot to you. New whip. Not the speed in it, I ain't got a lot to you Talk with a lot of emphasis Like me, only difference is I ain't got a lot to you I know you're gonna learn to love me Cause I be pretty when it's ugly I hit her with a dug I told her, baby girl, you love me But keep the gavel, don't judge me I'm everywhere the sun be I'm at the crib sitting comfy I go bananas on the monkey I turn it to a junkie And all my from the country But we be flying out the country My pockets on chunk right on Quarter ounce of the musty Talking numbers with the trusty I see you getting rusty Busted baby looking busty Heard them hating that disgust me Man don't even disgust me One week two shows in it One bad two in it I ain't got a lot to you I phone new flows in it Don't be trying to put your nose in it I ain't got a lot to you Boy, it is hot outside. Let me see what the degrees is, too. Dang, I just made it back in time. It was supposed to, it was supposed to rain. I knew someone was looking weird in the sky, but I'm like, boy, the sun was just out, and then it just ended up being darker and darker for real. Our camera had died at the right time, too, so it don't get rained on, but today I'm finna deep clean this whole crib. I ain't gonna clap. I said clap. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I gotta deep clean, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta deep clean, I gotta get groceries, I gotta go through emails, I gotta, I gotta call some folks, like call some family members, I feel like, probably, I feel like it's been a minute, it's like sometimes I'll be forgetting to call like my family members, like my grandma and stuff, just to kind of check up on them, you know what I mean, I think we all get lost up, like lost into like doing like, uh, you know what I'm saying, just your job or work or whatever you wanna, you know what I'm saying, whatever you're doing, I feel like I gotta do it, not feel, but I got to, you know what I'm saying, call them today, or even, you know what I'm saying, send them a text, but my grandma don't got no, <laughs> Cell phone, she got a house phone. Definitely call her today to just, you know what I'm saying, check up on her. So I got back from Miami yesterday.
yesterday, probably around like two or three. I was posting. I know y'all probably gonna be like, man, what happened? Why ain't you vlog the trip? Woo, woo, woo. It was last minute. I ain't even gonna sit down and give y'all no excuse or nothing. But the main reason, to be honest, was I didn't bring my, my tripod. So I forgot my tripod. You know what I mean? I wanted to record with my phone. I recorded a few clips with my phone, but I ain't wanna like, I like to get angles. You know what I'm saying? I like to do, you know what I mean? Make it look like a movie a little bit. I don't wanna just look like I'm just, you know what I mean? Like one of them little travel 4K videos, you know what I'm talking about? I don't like my vlogs to be looking like that, which is, you know what I'm saying? Straight a little bit, but I like to get, you know what I mean? Every angle. I still probably could have finessed, you know what I mean? But I'm like, I'm just gonna enjoy the time. I went there from Saturday night, late Saturday night, and then I dipped out Tuesday morning. I went up there with my boy, so man. Yo, we back here. I ain't work out up there, so that kind of was bugging me a little bit. I did like push-ups and stuff a little bit on some days, but for the most part, I didn't really do like a full workout. And I know I should have, and yeah, I didn't do it. But sometimes that's that's what be going on sometimes, you know what I mean? So that's why I feel like I was reading that Bible plan this morning too, is consistency, bro. I feel like I don't even like to put excuses. I don't even, you know what I mean? Like everybody did excuses at a point in time, so I don't even want to do that. This month, I'm even doing kind of like a 30-day challenge, bro. Kind of my own thing. And if y'all want to, too, y'all can do the same thing. But I just wrote down, you know what I mean, some things that I wanted to, I mean, take out or discipline with or this. And I just want to do a full 30 days on that. I mean, so that's, that's what went on my mind, too. And this is my birthday month, too, bro. So that little, you know what I'm saying, excuse try to creep in like, bro, you don't want to, your birthday coming up, bro. You don't want to do this, you, wanna, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is, bro. I feel like certain times you gotta take out stuff or, you know I mean, lock in for, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of time or, or set time, whatever you wanna call it, so you can, you know what I mean, long term goal. So that's really what's on my mind. Spot to go to, y'all. I just gotta get some herbs and stuff. Sea moss, burdock, all them type vibe. Headed there right now to go grab that. And I'm pretty much done for real. Bro, this ain't really had as much fruit as I thought it was gonna be, I think. But I did, I think today, what, Wednesday? Probably gonna re up. But when I went in there, it wasn't really no fruit like that. But I did get, as y'all saw, like watermelons. And then I got a couple mangoes at the crib, but they, they might be a little bit like too, too ripe. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? A mushy type vibe. So. I mean, that's what it is right now. I'll probably go later this week or something like that to go to the grocery store and get some more fruit. But for right now, I'm pretty, I'm pretty straight. I'm do green juice and just, I mean, a couple mango smoothies and stuff like that for right now. So yeah, man. This is what I ended up getting. I got dandelion root powder. I got bladder rat, cat's claw. I got black walnut. I needed some burdock root, but they had done ran out, so. 
I'll probably figure out some way if I'm finna, you know what I'm saying, get it somewhere else. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, get back to the crib now. I gotta get some sea moss too. I ain't had, I ain't seen no purple uh, Irish sea moss in there. And with these joints, I really use uh, like a teaspoon. You know what I'm saying? No, is it a teaspoon or tablespoon? I don't know. I got it written down. Don't even quote me on it, but I got like a herbalist that I talk to. I don't want to just be, you know what I mean, taking whatever and doing whatever. You know what I'm saying? Folks really done did research on it. You know what I'm saying? Know how to use it, know how to do it. I just be asking him what, what's good for my body or what good to use. So that's, that's how I'm kind of, I guess, informative on the stuff I be getting sometimes. I repeat, do not get this. Say Phil Kofer told me to use it. Man, do your research first. I mean, understand what it do. Understand what it's good for. I mean, if you can use it or you can take it. I mean. something like that. I'm about to start this cleaning though. I'm probably going to use when I like start like deep cleaning and stuff like that. I start back and then do the front. It's really not a lot of stuff, to be honest. So I'll be talking like it'd be a lot of stuff for real. It really just be, you know what I'm saying, putting stuff away. Like I said, washing dishes. There ain't even a lot of dishes and pretty much it. And folding clothes for real. So I'm probably going to do that. I got to stop. Not probably. I am going to do that. I've been watching. I've been watching Stranger Things, but Stranger Things been heat. I ain't gonna cap down to you, but they getting a little weird with it now, man. They got folks getting possessed and all that crazy business going on. Like they always gotta throw some type of some type of craziness in these, these new new vibes, bro. Like folks getting possessed. I don't know, but y'all y'all catch the drift. They just been wild. I used to watch scary movies a lot, but I don't, I don't do it. I don't do that no more. Comment below what, uh, if y'all watch Stranger Things, I'm on season, I'm on a season. I know, I'll say that because some people probably ain't even started it yet. 
or started uh, or even watched it yet. Or they might be in the third or whatever. But I'm in the fourth right now and I'm on episode, I think, three. Let me show you what it's looking like. So I got to put these up and then I got the dishes. It don't look crazy like this stuff I just had out that I was making. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when I be cooking and stuff, I just be <laughs> throwing stuff away because I know I'm going to clean it all anyway. And then I got to put the uh, groceries up over there. Man, let me show y'all this real quick that happened today, dog. Y'all see this madness, bro? That's the only one, things about these white ones is they get dirty so fast. You feel me? I wasn't even doing nothing crazy. I'm going to the grocery store. I gotta figure out how to wipe it off though because this is like a type of, y'all see like, you know what I mean? It's not something you just can, yeah, y'all catch what I'm saying. I don't know. It is what it is. This over here is pretty much, I was eating earlier as I peed and nothing crazy. And we got this, nothing wild. I'm finna just, cause I put these clothes up, bro. And like, nah, that's not even really my fault for real. It's my fault from buying all the clothes, but I put all the clothes up on my, uh, except for the jacket. Some jackets I ain't put up yet, but the other stuff like the pants, the shirts and jeans, I already put them all up. So folks ain't really, a lot of people is not wearing my size. You feel me? So I'm thinking about just going to Goodwill. I might throw them on Depop, I guess. Might be my only thing right now. cause. It's either bring them a goodwill or keep leaving them in his crib, I guess. So, and then it ain't really dirty, it's just you know, what I'm saying, wipe down stuff. And the room ain't really that dirty, I just got a vacuum, and then wipe down the mirror, and then fold these clothes, put some stuff up in the closet. These probably the only done something to keep, too. This is a side note for both of these, but I'm trying to sell these orange ones over here. I ain't really rock on them like that no more. I feel more comfortable having a Reeboks on or having some different type of the Converse on. I just some different type of shoe. Get rid of the dunks and just go SBs. SBs pretty straight, but like loud, loud colors. It's smooth, but sometimes I be feeling a little bit kiddish. You know what I'm saying with it, but that's just me personally. Besides that, man, we gonna get to it. Same green ones that I got for earlier before. I already took a fit picture in, but I sent these. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, actually really hard for real. And I don't even really rock with ones like that. They heat mean and they came with some laces. These they came with some black ones. I mean they even sent me a little, you know what I'm saying? Carry the kick. So I appreciate y'all man for sending me. Anything you want about me, I ain't worried that don't make it real. They don't really want to hear the real no more. Think they scared how I make them act. And you can say anything you want about me, I ain't tripping that don't make it fat. Look, coming live from the gutter like a cold puddle with water whipping road shuttle. Your whole huddle, Dutch burning, moving slow. I'm feeling like the minute hand. All wishes granted to me, turning in a tenant van. Been the man, never questioned nothing that was in the plan. See it from my third eye vision, so I understand. Poolside plotting moves like a dance team. Honey band scheme in the dirty with my hands clean. Never been the type of they could cash straight fifth grade. I was selling candy to my classmates. I ain't call her back. I let her think about the last date. Student of the game, and I promise you, not a classmate. Problem is with these rap. They move if he in my mood picky. Can't let these dicks get rude with me. God spit it on to keep my Then he hit the game. Act like I slipped. 
I'm about to take a break real quick. I'm about to go grab some uh, some food, probably from the same spot I had earlier. Hoping to wrap today. So. Well, I just saw the most random, most random dude in this little vegan spot. Y'all know the, uh, what's bro name? His name is from Spider-Man Far From Home. Dude name is Ned. But I just, he was just walking around this little vegan restaurant like, everything with Gucci. Ain't nobody saying, man, nobody. Kind of crazy though. But we headed back to the crib all right now. Smash this food. Crying tears 
Again, bro, this really, like I'm really just talking to a camera. But I gotta think about it how I'm talking to, what's it called? I'm talking to y'all for real, for real. I'm saying like I'm in front of an audience. You did. It just be weird because I be the only one in this crib. I'm just talking to a camera. <laughs> but nah, man, I just got uh done working out, you know, fresh out the shower. So if I start sweating a little bit, that's why. But I'll definitely finish cleaning up the crib. And that's really like what I be doing, bro. Like if I'm trying to like reset or like reset my day. I don't even do nothing too fancy. Like, I, I know a lot of people be journaling and then, you know what I'm saying, all that other stuff. I kind of, not saying it's not realistic. Some people have their own ways, but my ways, pretty much, I just want to deep clean everything, just clean up and just have everything, like, you know what I mean, tidy it up. Just that type of vibe. I feel like that kind of be making me feel like reset a little bit. I'm saying, like a start over type vibe. And just kind of get back on track for real, for real. So, hey, I don't really do nothing too crazy. I do that a lot. I used to when I was young, bro. Believe it or not, bro, like, it's so crazy how I'm doing YouTube right now, bro, because I put this on everything, bro. When I was young, I used to to watch like whenever youtube was big of course i used to watch a lot of youtube videos like bro i used to bro i'm telling you bro i like i've been doing this like, i've been on this type of time so that's why i feel like i'm more gets up to date with it you know what i mean like i'm a creative dude of course but i ain't being no cocky but that's just you know what i'm saying that's just me i feel like at a, when i was young i was looking at like what's on my iphone i look at the iphone whatever it was whenever youtube was popping i'm gonna say iphone you know what i mean a plus what's on my iphone a plus or iphone unbox you know what i mean like morning routines i used to look stuff up stuff up like that all all the time bro i'm talking about daily i used to like i used to like, i think a lot of people did this but like comment down below if y'all y'all did this too like in middle school bro i kid you not we used to go i used to go to the d mall like the discount mall and grab clothes or whatever i had some fake jordans yeah bro that was that's what was going on i can't we couldn't really afford like real deal jordans you know what i'm saying so i used to lay my clothes outside of my bed type deal i'm talking about like i mean polo shirt uspa of course <laughs> I had like one pink polo shirt, but that was about it. And that was, I got it from Marshall. That was like my most probably expensive shirt for real, for real. But I had the USPA, I mean the jeans with the back pockets that match the color, you know what I'm saying? And that had horses. I remember the green and, green and white horse I used to have. Like I would just have like stuff like that laid on top of my bed. Like, like, in, like I'm talking about neatly, you feel me? And then I wake up, alarm set. You know what I mean? I'll just go brush my teeth, put the clothes on quick. You feel me? Like, I'll be on that type of time, bro. So I've been, I really had that mindset since a young age. And it kind of like progressed. I used to think about doing YouTube like this for the longest, bro. But I, I never had like, I was always just set on basketball. Like, nah, I'm a basketball player. I don't got time for that. Well, I don't speak too much. I don't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? And like, this really was like my, I don't even want to say dream, but like, this really like what I enjoy doing for real, for real. And like, the funny thing about it is it's not even really like no work to me, bro. Like, I probably say the most work is editing, of course, but like, it's really my everyday life. I, I do this every day. Only thing that different I do is I'm recording myself. I don't be, I don't be changing nothing up. That's what I did today. That's what I pretty much do when I'm trying to reset. You know what I mean, and I just wanna, you know what I mean. I keep it a buck with y'all too, bro. And like, I ain't even finna be the the you YouTube person that just be like all oh, fine and dandy. You know what I'm saying? I had a couple of setbacks where I was like kind of getting into my old self a little bit. You know what I'm saying, and it was to a point like I just caught myself like, hold on now, you going the wrong. You know what I'm saying? You going the wrong route. Don't look at the past. I ain't finna condemn myself. I ain't finna, like, you know what I'm saying? Toss myself down like you not this, you not that. You know what I'm saying God ain't ashamed of me either. Thing that be keep my, my mind straight a little bit bro like no my mind straight all the time is like even when i was messing up when my mom was here and she you know what i mean she was here on this earth like my mom loving me everything just everything bro like it would just be it would blow your mind how much the love my mom had for not just me but my brother and my dad like just people homeless people like just everything bro and that kind of keep me keep me in that type of mindset like man you gonna be straight bro just keep get back up keep moving it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be easy but that just mean you on the right path for all these temptations and all these things start, you know what i'm saying coming back your way that's just how life goes bro god give you a choice like choose this day who you would serve it's been a lot of days where i didn't choose the right the right way the buck. at the same time like i be having that conviction like nah bro this Ain't true. Get back on track. I mean, that's what I'm, I'm learning now, bro. And I just, you know what I'm saying, I kind of want to just be set. Like, I want to be set on my goal. Not just so, like so much on just money. You feel me? But set what God want me to do. I already see what God want me to do. He want me to do this YouTube. I'm saying it. It's like <laughs> the support coming in like this. I mean, so I don't got time to really not saying I don't got time to mess up. I mean, I'm trying to change. I'm trying to change the world. That's how I'm speaking big. I'm trying to change the world. 
You feel me? I'm trying to change something big. I'm trying to be on, you know what I'm saying, talk shows. I'm trying to be on big podcasts speaking my story. Because y'all really don't even know the real, like the big, big story. I just know snippets. That's my that's my thing I got going on right now, bro. And all that just come from is just, like I said, discipline. That's what I like about my channel. It's helping me, me out, but I know it's helping y'all out too. So we all kind of just, you know what I mean? We helping each other out, bro. This community I got, the support I got, we all, you know what I'm saying, we all having the same mindset. Regardless, we messed up, ain't perfect, woo woo. You know what I mean? Just, just keep moving, keep moving straight. I know it sounds corny, but just keep going forward, bro. Don't, don't condemn yourself for whatever you messed up on, no matter if it's bad. Ain't nobody been perfect. Ain't nobody in the Bible is perfect. I don't choose perfect people. And that's just keeping it real with y'all, too. You feel me? Not saying I've been lazy, but it's just to a point that I feel I can go harder. If y'all having that same mindset, too, y'all going through that same thing, bro. Just, I mean, this the video where y'all, all right, all right, like, yeah, I got to get back on my stuff because I'm going to do the same thing with y'all, bro. So I know it's going to be days where you don't feel like doing it, but those be the fun days because at the end, you're going to look back on those days and be like, yeah, <laughs> I'm the one, Jack. <laughs> I ain't lie. That's it, man. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. I'm probably gonna do for my next video, probably like a self care or something. I kind of want to show y'all like natural stuff I be using, bro, so I can start putting y'all on game what I be doing. You know what I mean? I ain't just looking this good for no reason. You know what I'm saying? It come with food, it come with self care, it come with the right, you know what I mean? Remedies, all that type stuff. So I want to put y'all down on, uh, you know what I'm saying? I want to put y'all down on that, you know what I'm saying? Keep y'all up to date what I be got going, because I be having a lot of questions on that, but I be slipping. I'm saying putting y'all on game too. So we finna get to that probably in the next video. Not probably, we is gonna get to that on the next video, man. So we did.